What's splashing the soldier the game spitter? EG, let me holler at you. EG manager, Eric Mosley, let me talk to you. Now the feds, they do understand your game. They understand the name of your crew. Everybody shine together. And they like that. But they want to put their little remix on it. They want to change the LLC name. Still keep it three-letter gang, but change it from EST to EFT. Yeah, everybody fed together. Yeah, everybody fumble together. That's how they coming. Now, of course, everybody would say, why would each G manager, Eric, still have one foot in the streets and one foot in the music industry? Understand something. Sometimes, you know, when we have friends from the neighborhood, family, and you know we put them in position sometimes a career take off faster than a street guy can make the transition from the streets to being fully legit and the career success waits on nobody it waits on no man so you either roll with the punches get ran over or get left behind now everything i'm gonna say in this video is alleged now it's easy to say why would he still have his foot in the streets but you gotta understand when you're at a certain level in the street and you're getting a certain type of bag and now that you in the industry and you're around all this competition, you see what I'm saying? You're around dudes that's spending 100000 200000 got a half a million, a million dollars in jewelry, got four or five cars, most of them Mopar, the other half foreigns, traveling the world, getting all this money. Yeah, you're a six-figure cat. But you realize when you get in the music industry and you get around real estate people, you get around real legit people, you then realize the street money, the trap money, the shoebox money, that's play money. That's petty money to the real legit successful wealthy person. They spend that on renting a boat for an hour. They rent boats that cost 100000 per hour and they find a way to use it for a tax write-off. He started hearing that information. Now, yeah, he getting decent money in the music industry, you're yeah, managing EG, but he only getting a percentage of that. You see what I'm saying? 10%, 20%, it's not a 50-50. And the rest, of, the rest of the percentage, the other half, they go to the company. They make the company LLC look good. They build a relationship with the banks. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, he can't really keep up with that lifestyle and that image based off managing EG at the level EG at right now. Cause EG, yeah, EG getting a lot of show money and a lot of money for the future, but that's pretty much it. You see what I'm saying? Or a walkthrough or a promotion. That's EG money though. That's not the manager money. You see what I'm saying? That's money he earned. That's CMG and Lil Baby putting their hands on that and what EG bringing to the table, helping his, you know, show money, future money go higher and higher and higher without the big billboard number one, you know what I'm saying? Nominated at BET, Grammy Award type of song. That's not his LLC and his manager his manager, it ain't really hard for his work to put in because EG already got a big buzz based off your Gotti and Baby and his work he putting in and his flow and his talent. So it's not really hard or Eric don't have to put in all that work like another manager would to an artist that don't get a lot of shows or don't get a lot of interviews and features. But it's really not that hard when the artist popping because everything gonna come to you. They looking for you. You just gotta manage everything. But if you only getting 20%, uh, Cause it's a hundred percent at the whole pie. The IRS get they cut. Yo Gotti, Lil Baby, whoever else he signed to get they cut. He got to get his cut. Other people that's under that LLC, cause it just wasn't you and him. It was other people. They get they cut. The banks, everybody, lawyers, the engineer, everybody get they cut. So you might get 10, 15, 20 percent, right? Cause you're still playing for the team. But you need that extra little money. And the extra little money, that's what the brick of the fitting all bring. Yeah, that's what the brick of the fit and all the brain. That's what the brick of the coke or the boy and all that they'll bring. Put them pills, that lean. That's what all that bring. That bring the extra stuff. We ain't got to really touch that money. That legit money, you ain't got to touch that. You know, you just play with a key or two or three, and that can really afford your daily habits, your daily expenses. They keep up with the designer and the runts. You really ain't got to spend a lot of money in clothes like that because you were EG. So you really got to dang your biggest expense. It's really more drug habits and the cars and the jewelry. That's what you really got to worry about. The clothes and the shoes, not really because here by, especially if you wear his size, you know, most of us down south, we wear the same size. We either a nine, a nine and a half, a 10, 10 and a half, you know what I'm saying? Lay them 12 tops. That's about the average down south in that Kentucky area right there, Midwest. We pretty much wear all the same. We come over there. There's only a few dudes that wear 13, 14, 15, or a shoe size under eight. 
Come on, man. Everybody else, we wear a nine between nine and twelve. Understand? If you wear a nine, you can fit everything all the way up to eleven. <laughs> and if you wear a uh, ten, you, see, you you can go all the way back down to a nine or a twelve. Understand? We'll make it work. But the baguettes, the flawless diamonds, the chains, the bracelets, the watches, the rings, the diamond grills, the cars, the forms, the hotel fees, the five star restaurants. That's what you know got to come out your pocket. And you don't really want to touch that legit money because you want them you want to be up there and talk heavy like the big dogs and you want to have them turtle shell pockets that the trap gonna bring you know what i'm saying and it's really not that hard to manage who's to say just because they caught buddy in that hotel or that motel where he was at that don't mean that he was hands-on with it that don't mean he was doing hand to hand he could have been sitting there just waiting for a pickup or a drop and who's to say that dope and guns and money was his just because the feds hit him and caught him in the room that don't mean that was his is the room in his name how many people was y'all just sitting there watching the room all night all day or did y'all just get the warrant and then come hit it it could have been 15 different dudes was in that room they could have had a party last night ain't no telling who left that bag and that money and that gun now i'm legit he legit my artist legit but don't mean everybody everybody around me don't got to be legit you see what I'm saying? They just, you know, making the scene look good. That's how my artists get richer and get more famous because he got the real deal around him. That's what, you know, Eric got to get his lawyer to explain, which they didn't heard it before. You know what I'm saying? But each G got to know that, come on, the feds watching y'all. Like, why? How they get the drop? How they knew that Buddy was in the room? You got to understand the competition. You got a lot of rappers that don't like each G. You got the regular informants, the street informants, they make phone calls. You gotta understand, the ops that you got that's rapping, they don't like you, or the street guys don't like you, they buying the same keys too. They get money, yeah, y'all ain't the only ones that can come up with 20, 30, 40,000, get a brick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't the only ones that can allege it. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is how the feds thinking, and this is what you know, people want people to say, right? So y'all ain't the only ones that's getting a whole bunch of money and all that debt, they can afford that debt. You know, them boys on the other side that don't like y'all, they get it from the same plug. The plug that y'all got, y'all ain't the only ones he's serving in the city. He's serving Buddy and them down the street too, and they can buy a couple of bricks of the dog food. They can buy the runts, 100 pounds of the runts, or whatever else they need. Understand, it ain't just y'all, so people talk. Yeah, it ain't hard to, you know, they send one of the members to buy something from you. The dude that y'all was serving a four and the baby too. You know, Buddy, you serving four and the baby too. It wasn't even you, it was your Buddy. He know, old oh, Buddy, that y'all be, y'all in tour with. He told him that, yeah, buddy be having a straight drop. And they, of course, they're going to know the area y'all be in because you served them. Your partner them served them. And word got back, females be talking. You know, see, that's why it's so bad to be operating in the same city y'all from. You see what I'm saying? Hoes talking because you still hitting them same girls. Yeah, even though you each G manager, you still going to hit the girls that you comfortable around, that you know, they already know you. You know what I'm saying? Or the girls in your city because you still feel more safer around them. So they're going to talk. They know a dope boy. Come on, man. These people, they know when the dude's still in the streets. They know when one rapping about the streets and he really did that or he just telling lies. They know all of them and they know the ones who really still in it and they still hustling because how you move and how the phone ring, what you saying, how you twist your words. Because you wouldn't put all that twist on legit, you know, words that come with business, come with escorts and LLC. You wouldn't use them real street words because you wouldn't really know how to translated like that that quick you got to be a real smart thinker to flip them words because you just learning them words you ain't used all them words all your life so you want to know how to flip it and put that slang on it understand unless you one of the ones shout out to mr organic now understand each g of course the feds had a meeting on you you know they had a meeting on you. they the best at having meetings you know they said at the round table your face on the overhead your crew your manager everybody name that's under the llc you know that's on the overhead because you know they're trying to bridge the gap between you using dirty money or y'all using dirty money alleged to fund the LLC y'all got. You know what I'm saying? To fund your music career. We ain't talking about the check that God gave you. We ain't talking about whatever little baby gave you. I'm speaking as the feds. You see what I'm saying? We ain't talking about that. We talking about that ES, everybody shine LLC or whatever that LLC name, we talking about that LLC. How did y'all get that 300000 you know, can you show proof that you earned 300000 Did you pay taxes on that? Show me proof that you earned that. How did y'all get that money? You know, legit, always legit. Convince us that you ain't take none of that money to bond that boy out. 
Yeah, the boy that caught that body. It better not be one dirty penny that we find from the streets that y'all use to clean, to fund that LLC y'all got that done. Because if we find that out, we're going to take everything that y'all bought. We're going to look at the bank statements, and we're going to take everything that y'all bought with that LLC and what we feel that y'all bought with the LLC. Because we already got record labels. We already got informants and everything. They're telling us. We know how much money you get in the show and what they can bring in. When you started, when you started all the way from 500 and you skip all the way up to 30, 40, 50,000, 60,000, we know that. We know what Gotti gave you. And of course, we looked into Gotti, but we found out he was clean. You know what I'm saying? We spoke to the feds, the detectives, and the local police in Memphis and all that stuff. He's legit. He's clean. You know, they've been working on him, but they just couldn't nail it together. But we're not talking about Gotti. We're not talking about They've been spared. We're not talking about. 4PF or none of that. We talking about you and Kentucky business and that LLC that you got. Because how can you convince me and how you going to convince their courtroom? This the feds talking now. How you going to convince their courtroom that you ain't take none of that show money? When you was getting 10000 a show, 20000 a show, that you ain't take that and give it to Eric so he can buy a brick. Yeah, ain't that how y'all see it? So he can buy a brick. So he can buy yeah, a key. So he can buy a brick of that fit and all. Yeah, how we know that you want to talk about him when you said to get rich, get a brick of that fit and all. You was talking about Eric. Yeah, you, you, you that's how you're going to get him rich. And then he's going to be done with the game. And then, or he might think he the new Rollo. And he's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And what? We're supposed to make a new blow? We're supposed to make a move about you with blow too? So Eric can expect not to have a speedy trial. The Fed's going to take their time with this right here with you because, understand... They're still trying to connect some stuff with each G so they can bring him into it so they can make it even bigger. Right now, they got it, you know, they got a good title, right? They got the title East G Manager, but they want to say East G and Manager arrested, involved in drug trafficking, drug conspiracy, running a criminal enterprise, you know, money laundering, conspiracy, gun charges, shooting charges, maybe a murder, a body. Then, you know, find some little informants that's in your organization, get them to talk, get them a good deal, you know, a good, nice fofo fo. They fofo fo. You know, the fed fofo fo come with chicken nuggets, a burger, fries, and a drink. And they give you two packages of ketchup. So, y'all, they, y'all, they want, they got the fofo fo deals. They got two for two deals. They all type of deals you want. One for one. You know what I'm saying? They got the deals that you want to keep working and keep getting money or, keep getting IOUs. They got them type of, they got all different type of deals. They got more deals than CMG got. The Feds got more deals than Interscope and 4 pf and all them got. They got way more deals than Universal and Def Jam. Understand? Ask about them. Now, HG, what you got to do is make your plan B be bigger than your plan A. Plan A just been crushed. Yeah, we fumbled the ball. We fumbled the ball, yeah, and the person who recovered was a federal agent. They recovered the ball. They overturned the ball and they placed the ball on the 40 yard line. Y'all 40 yard line, not theirs, y'all's. So they don't need them about one more first down, a good one in field goal range. That's 10 years, five years, seven years, shutting down LLCs. They score a touchdown, that's bringing you down with that. See, they could shut down the LLC based off him, but bringing you in it, uh. They score a touchdown that's giving him close to life, if not life, bringing you in it, giving you 10 years, 7 years, 5 years, whatever they can get, anything that can throw you off your game, put that pressure on you. EG, understand. Understand now. You got to have some good corners. Who's your corner? You need to call Charles Wilson in his prime days. You need somebody like that, and you need somebody else on the other side. You need to have some good corners, have a good lineman. You see what I'm saying? You got a good, you got Limans. Who your Limans? Yo Gotti, Lil Baby and them. The real big artists that's really legit. That's your Lyman. So you got to understand, you got to know how to play the ball. You got to understand who your quarterback. Can we say Aaron Rodgers? He had a bad game last week. I don't know. You want to go with Rodgers, Tom Brady? Who you want to go with? Who you going, yo, because you got to make sure it's you the quarterback, you Michael Vick. Who, who, you, who you rolling with? You want to keep it black? Keep it, yeah, family? Donovan McNabb, Steve McNabb, who you rolling with? Cam Newton, who you? Because understand, your lawyer can allow you to get the ball back, but you cannot afford to throw no interceptions because 
if you get the ball back, they already on y'all 40. So if you get the ball back, you could be on the 20 yard line, 10 yard line. So we don't need no safeties. You know what I'm saying? You know what a safety is, right? A safety is when they find a new informant in your organization and, and they get the ball back. And they get the ball. So it's two points for them. They got another informant in your organization and they get the ball back to score again. That's give you more time to destroy your empire. Understand that, East G. Now, in the meantime, turn down doing interviews right now. Yeah, we don't need to do no interviews unless you got a new album coming out. And make it be clear, you really don't want to talk about that case there. You talk about that, I tell you I don't want to talk about it. Or if I already told you, I just walk out the room or we end it like that. You got to separate yourself from Kentucky. It's too hot in Kentucky right now. Yeah, you just got to leave everything behind in Kentucky. You know, whatever they got in the streets, you can't be talking on the phone like that no more. It's tap. The judge going to give permission to tap the phone. They got enough evidence. You can't speak. If it ain't talking about getting on this song, we ain't talking about 10 bars, 8 bars, 16 bars, a bridge and a hook. I need to be at this show. Where the hoe at? I need to be at this room. Because you got to understand. And another thing too, right now, avoid beefs. The beefs you got in the city and other crews and rappers, avoid them beefs right there because that's going to force you to ride with dirty sticks. We need legit sticks. See, new beef going to force you to ride with dirty sticks. We can't afford that right now because what they need they can help them out a little bit more. The feds, they need each G off the street. So we don't need, you know, you getting pulled over because you got to do a show in Ohio or Kentucky or Florida. So, yeah, understand. Right now, buy security. Do not let your homeboys hold a gun. Even if they, you know, got a concealed weapon or they can carry a gun, all that stuff. Nah, not right now. If something happened, let a badge you know, meet a badge. When it's time when you got to gun somebody down, it's a badge. They show a badge when the police come to greet their badge. So we don't need no flags, you know, playing security. We don't need no flag banging playing security. So we need to chill on that right now because the feds, they're trying to, you know, finish the puzzle. They're trying to finish that puzzle. And they got, it's almost done. It's almost done because they got the lead. The informant, they gave him that lead. God damn it, they just paid them. Ooh, he got, ooh. He got some good money he because he trying to get that new car he know because he know dodge coming out of the new hellcats the z06 coming out and yo he needed an extra little 10 15 or 20 whatever the feds gave him for that y'all and he ain't lie it was right on time money guns drugs and big and everything ak style when they say ak style type pistol it's uh draco you know what i'm saying he had a draco because uh draco is not an ak it's not an ak-47 you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a Draco. So that's what he had, a Draco. If he didn't have a Draco, the real mini one, the real short one, and it's kind of a little bit longer, that probably was the Hell Pup. Yeah, a lot of people be thinking they got Draco, but it's really called the Hell Pup. Type that in. Hell, then P-U-P. -P. Put that together, yeah, you'll see like, oh, yeah, you might have a Hell Pup. That might, that, you know, they still call it AK style pistol type. Understand? The 100,000, who's to say that was drug money, trap money? Who's to say they can't prove that? They got a legit LLC that's bringing in a lot of income. So who's to say it just do EG got his show money and stuff like that? Is it coming to that account? You know what I'm saying? When he get paid for a show, do they pay him through that LLC? Like, do he got a lot of his income coming through that LLC? You know what I'm saying? Because the feds going to feel like you just started that LLC just to make your criminals legit and turn that money, turn that dirty money into legit money. You know what I'm saying? That's why you'll start that LLC and then you have different LLCs for like CMG and all them there for your legit, straight legit business, but to clean them up and help them out. And the reason why all y'all are signed under the name, so cause each G gonna bring all the income and he bringing all the value to the LLC. So with all them under the same LLC, when they buy stuff like cars and apartments and condos and houses and stuff like that, spend a lot of money where, you know, the people got to alert the feds when they spending over 10,000, it will be a good cover up cause each G bringing so much income under the LLC, so they have the check stubs. You see what I'm saying? They show the check stubs, and then you show. So the bank still might red flag. Say you try to buy a car and showing them check stubs from the business. The bank still might tell y'all no because unless you try to put too much money down on a house, or you put over twenty percent, but they'll still tell you no because you didn't separate your name. You know what I'm saying? Your business name from your real name. You didn't have an ADP. You didn't start an ADP, and you separate yourself from your business name and your real name. So you can get the W-2s. When they shut down the LLC, they take everything because you didn't separate your name from the business. So they take everything. 
See how that work? So each G, you can expect the feds to audit you. You know, they want to see two years or three years back tax returns and receipts and all that there because y'all being investigated. So you can expect that coming. Um, Eric Lawyer, you need to convince your lawyer to convince the courtroom and the feds, you know, just to lower your bond hearing that, you know, I see. That's why I don't know if the room was in your name because you can put up that argument. Like a lot of guys, and was they really watching the spot the whole time? Because a lot of guys was coming in and out, but they really had to do that because they'll get the film, the camera film from, you know, the hotel place or the motel place. So they got to really done that though, unless their cameras weren't working that day or they haven't turned on that day. You see what I'm saying? So that could be a good argument. Like, oh, my client, you know, you might just own up to the gun because you got to own up to something. Might own up to the gun or the money or own up to the gun and the money. But the, the key, that wasn't mine. Oh, you got, did I serve an undercover? Did I serve an informant? So they don't, ain't no telling what type of information the feds got. But they had some good information or some legit information to get a search warrant. So he could have served an informant or a informant's word of mouth saying that, yeah, he got that there or phone taps, you know, because they think they switching up phones, they can't get their phone tapped again when the courtroom, the judges, all that, they already gave the green light so they can keep spending the money to follow you because they already know y'all really living because they pay attention to all the interviews when each G talk. When each G explained that your guy they wouldn't sign him if he wasn't the real thing and they had to make this phone call and he started saying names, they write names down. They ask on farmers, they ask females. They ask all type of people, junkies. You ever heard of this name? Who's this? Who's that? Yo, oh, he really legit? Okay, he the real deal. So that means he doing something real to keep the people, you know, in tune with him, to keep them entertained. Because the feds really starting to realize if a street rapper got a lot of audience and he don't look like he fake, he even if he is fake, he still got some type of real involvement in the streets in these days of time because they so want to be so real, they don't know how to separate entertainment business from the streets. You can find something. And when we talk about something, we mean more than a gun. They'll take a gun, but we need a gun with a body on it. We need a gun, yeah, with a switch on it. And we're gonna take the guns. You know what I'm saying? Cause but other than that, like, nah, we want money laundering, we want tax evasion, we want running a criminal enterprise, we want that. We want the big stuff. You know, these guys like wearing jerseys. We trying to give them a good jersey number, double digits, make them real famous. You see what I'm saying? Each G also understand the feds trying to throw a little bait out there for you too, and they hope that you catch it. Yeah, they put a little worm on the hook and throw it out there. Who is that? Who's that worm on that hook? That witness or that lady that's you know on them news on the news channel saying that y'all one of y'all homies alleged killed one of her peoples and you bond them out three hundred thousand alleged. You see what I'm saying? They gonna throw that out there and put that out there so y'all can do something to her because if she pop up missing or dead. They're going to tie you in with that. So, hey, right now, oh, plan B, leave her alone right now. You know, huh? leave her right now. Oh, we can, you can handle that later if it's needed. You know what I'm saying? If it's needed, you can deal with that later. Right now, no, 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 no. Investigation going on. You can't touch that girl. She cannot come up missing right now. Oh, you better come up. You better have some, a thousand, you better be watching a thousand ways to die. If you're trying to put something like that together because, nah, that's bait right there. Nothing can't happen to that woman right there. You see what I'm saying? What the feds gonna try to do with that? See if y'all use dirty money with that, intercept that, put him back in jail for the three hundred thousand. That'd just be a waste of three hundred thousand on that right there. Another thing you can't do that the feds gonna be listening your new songs, your new records. They know how rappers are, especially the street ones, the real ones. They know how they express themselves is in that booth. So you'll give, you'll throw out real good gems. You'll throw out, you know, I told him not to, I told him not to go to the room. I told him not to be in the Oh, so y'all do do a lot of interaction. So you did know about the drugs. You did know about, so they, you gotta watch that. You can't be saying, I told them not to go to the room. I told them to watch the feds on them. I told, oh, so why you gotta tell them that? That mean y'all doing something y'all supposed to do. Cause y'all just rapping, you just manage it. It wouldn't matter if we on you. We look like a fool. Y'all can sue us. Oh, so hey, don't even rap about it. Don't talk about it. Talk about, keep talking, you keep talking about the drilling and the, all that there, but y'all don't talk about that right there. That new case. Leave that alone because you don't want your name in that case. You see what I'm saying? Just keep it 
manager, not you, because with you on the streets, everything all good. Even if he get 10 years or 15, if you still on the streets, everything all good. Gotti, he been spared. He don't really got to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jay-Z see that, or somebody at Rock Nation see that, Desiree, or somebody under her, and make a couple phone calls, talk to somebody, alleged, you know, just a scenario, and you know, tell them, like, don't put CMG, CMG artist, East G, or 4PF artist, East G, oh, no. Nah, just keep it East G manager or East G. Don't put none of them other brands. That's what, you know, Jay that for. That's what Jay, that's the type of power he could do. Don't tie that in. This Memphis, that's way in Kentucky. That's Atlanta, that's way in Kentucky. Oh, don't pick that together. Oh, they legit. They really can, darling. They, they can really put their people in position. And we on them. We watching them too, but they got better cover ups. East G and his team, they just more sloppy with it. He really not organized like Baby and Got It. Got It got a lot of experience. We been watching him too. He got a lot of experience and he know how to move his men and know what to do. And he really don't even got to do that though. You know what I'm saying? He really threw with it. We just got to really, you know, hope that we can catch him in a murder or hope that we can tie him in. That he running something or we can tie that PRE and that CMG and stuff like that together. But, but that's not, we ain't really focused on that. That's, we leave that down there, down south. That's their problem. They need us. Of course, we'll join with them, help them, give them any type of information that we need because we all one big family but up here in this jurisdiction you know we want the most points we want the biggest bus we want to show that america that we putting in the most work that we not letting these gangsters take over our city if we taking over we take back over the neighborhoods we're making the community safe you know we exposing you know the bad guys and just trying to turn good the wrong way even though it seems like it's the right way but it's funded by the wrong way. Especially they're gonna do it the wrong way and give us no money. You ain't do like the mafia did, the mob, and all them, you ain't hold you ain't break us off hold. So we could turn our head. So you already know they feel you know the feds and the government, they always feel disrespected when you don't give them a piece of the pie. You know what I'm saying? They'll take they'll take the money too on the low ski, but you gotta be spared. You gotta be one of the ones for them to, you know, do that type of business with you. But this is warning before destruction. By your team staying in Kentucky and you doing your thing, you got all these haters, and your haters is other steppers and demons and big dolls and up and coming artists and all that there. You know, Kentucky will be your downfall, whether it's incarceration or death. Or you spend a lot of money in court fees, getting sued, baby mama, child support, losing a lot of blood in hospitals, hospital fees, lawyer fees for your homies. So yeah, you gotta choose. You can stand your ground in Kentucky. You know, people uh, want to stay in their city because, you know, all the money in their city. Besides being an artist, yes, you know how hard it is to go to California and set up shop and have this dude come up, buy a brick, and they trust this dude. You know he ain't a foreman. No, they ain't going to rob you. Or you move to this spot and set up shop when you've been knowing these people, knowing these folks, or you've seen them a lot, and you know how to navigate and move. But, you know, you're just a target now. Like, if you take away each G, Y'all just been regular. Who knows? You probably had more time. You know what I'm saying? You would have less haters, or your haters won't be as big. I mean, well, the feds would believe them. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for the feds not to believe when another person just like you, another stepper, another plug just like you, telling them, hey, he got the dope in there right now, guns, money, everything in there right now. Y'all got to hit it right now, though. Or he going to have it at this such, such, such time. You know what I'm saying? For y'all. For Eric just to set up shop at that room, they gotta know the Fed and they know to hit it at that time because you ain't gonna be at the room for so long. So come on, man. So the Feds hit that at that time. Whoever gave them that tip, they real sturdy in your organization or they real sturdy on the other side and they know a lot of business. They know a lot of legit business and he telling the truth because look what they got when they ran up on you. One of the Fed guys, you know, when they was talking after they kicked the door in and locked you up and all that, they had you in the back of the car and they get in their little huddle, they be talking. One of them was still kind of mad because they were like, damn, if we would have caught him, maybe, you know, an hour later, the next day, next week, he would have had more on him. You know what I'm saying? If he get one, he can get five. If he had 100K, he would have had more. He was probably just, it was probably his last one. He probably finna re up. If we would have waited a little bit more, but if we would have waited a little bit more, he probably wouldn't have played out like that. He probably would have had, or he would have had this more on him, but not had this. At least we got everything. We got every the whole setup guns, money, drugs, you know what I'm saying? Business. All type of stuff, scales. So each G right now, what you need to be doing is making sure transactions still coming through that LLC. Don't shut it down because it's gonna look kind of weird. 
that's a red flag. Why would you shut it down? Because we're investigating, so still have money coming through that, right? So what you need to do is, of course, you're a hot topic right now, and the feds on you, they're on your trail. Right now, you need to be pulling money out of them accounts. Yeah, you need to be pulling money out of different accounts, just in case they come and want to freeze everything. Take some money out. Give some to your guy. Give some to people who got big stashes so the feds won't know, like, he got too much money, so, yeah, give some to the little baby. Don't give some to your legit partner, but he on a lower level than you. Oh, no. Give some to Gotti, not the other rappers in CMG. No. Not 42 Doug and everybody else. No. He's either Lil Baby or Gotti. Somebody like that. Understand. You at least want to take a meal out and stash it. You know, stash it all over America. What I mean by different partners and stuff that you can trust. It's real big dogs. It ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying, to them to hold that and give it back to you and all that stuff, just in case, because you don't want to just have it at the crib or the same type of hiding spots they've been. Come on, man, they bust drug dealers and people like scammers and people who really hide, they focus on hiding stuff all the time, so come on, man. Don't do it like that. Do it right. Do it the right way. You know, you just got to put more trust, put all your trust into, not all, but for the money side, you know, put some in Gotti, put some in baby and all that there, just to be on the safe side still leave something in there don't make it look too you know tricky like where they put a red flag on it because you know they can come any day all they got to do is get the right information right and that's only one more little piece of the puzzle you see what i'm saying then est is it's done now it's, like i said i told you eft everybody fed you see what i'm saying so that my take on this situation right here, man. When more information come out, I'll touch back on the story. Hit the like button. Hit the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Hit the notification bell, man. Go.